Back in March, I spoke with Daniel Woodrum, the owner of Mount Pleasant Fit Body Boot Camp, about their transition to online workout classes. Tonight, we were able to catch up and talk about their upcoming plans to reopen their doors in the safest way possible. Hey, what is up? How are you doing? It is Coach Daniel here at Fit Body Boot Camp. But just not having that more face-to-face -face interaction, personal touch has certainly been a challenge. Uh, but we've also heard a lot of great things from clients that they still feel like they're, you know, being able to, to hold, for us to hold them accountable to the best of our ability. Despite Governor McMaster giving gyms the green light to reopen on the 18th, they plan to pump the brakes for another week. Just to see what the response is like, you know, from the community and to make sure that we have more time to prepare our staff and our clients for the changes because, as you mentioned, there are going to be a number of changes that have to happen, you know, for the foreseeable future. Their doors won't open until cleaning crews hit the entire facility, deep clean mats and equipment, and fully stocked disinfecting products. What we're doing now is we've created uh, eight by eight boxes. When clients come in, they're going to grab one or two pieces of equipment, such as a dumbbell or kettlebell. They're going to go in their box and they're going to stay in their box in place the entire workout. Regardless of the new challenges to reopen, they're excited to see some familiar faces in two weeks. Well, most of us haven't been able to really interact with a lot of humans face to face for a while. So this is going to be really amazing. We actually just announced to our clients today about us opening on, on uh, May 26th. And they are all super, super excited. So we're, we're definitely pumped up. While their official reopen date is May 26th, you can find out more about their online challenge down below. In North Charleston, I'm Katie Turner. Count on two.